The Republicans have had m numerous opportunities to work with President Obama, and they have repeatedly demonstrated that they have no interest in doing that. Debbie Wasserman Schultz, head of the Democratic National Committee, blaming Republicans for the Senate's failure to pass a budget, even though Democrats, by the way, control the Senate. It's three years since anyone passed a budget. Uh, Sunday is the anniversary, making it three years exactly. And Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid says there is no need to bring a budget to the floor this year. Senator Jeff Sessions of Alabama is a ranking Republican on the Budget Committee and joins us now. Senator, nice to have you back with us. Thank you, Jenna. To Senator Reid's point, uh, budgets are not binding. So even if they're passed, there's nothing that says you have to follow them. The real spending is in appropriation. So why are we even talking about the budget? Why not just spend all the time about the appropriations and where the money's actually going? Well, before you start appropriating money, before you start spending money, you need to know how much money you have and what, uh, how much you're going to spend and set limits on it. And budgets control uh, the amount that would be spent. And they do have power. Uh, if someone spends more than the budgeted amount, it takes a super majority of 60 votes. But it doesn't take 60 votes to pass a budget. The Budget Control Act of 1974 that requires a budget every year, that requires a committee to move one out by April 1st, that, that uh, Budget Control Act uh, uh, get, allows it to be passed with only 50, 51 votes. Uh, so the Democrats have plenty of votes to pass a budget if they have a vision for, the, for America. The problem we have is that when you lay out a budget for 10 years, you say how much you're going to tax, how much you're going to spend, and how much debt is going to be accumulated on the American people, and that's what they don't want to be responsible for. Well, the head of the DNC has a different theory that she was telling uh, to Brett Baer just a few days ago. Let's take a listen to her. The Republicans have an interest in one job, his, and they don't want him to be successful, and that's why we haven't been able to work together. His being the president, Senator Session, is this personal? Well, a budget is a, a it has nothing to do with uh, getting along with the president. You can't have a budget in the United States Senate until a chairman of the committee calls a hearing and lays out his plan and then it's all you have a chance to amend it and then it goes to the floor and you have a chance to amend it what they refuse to do for three years is bring a budget up and and lay one out uh, and it's because they don't want the american people to see i think what their view is and how divided they are and and how unable they are to provide a vision for how to put America on a prosperous course. And that's what we need. Senator Session, uh, this, I, I ask you this next question with this disclaimer that I mean no disrespect by it, but this is something that we, we go through every time we talk about budget and money when it comes to Congress, yeah. that you know there doesn't seem to be a feeling of compromise. And I wonder, for the American people, is the message simply that we have to vote everybody out? and put in new people that are principled but can compromise, that can figure this out in some way? Well, we do have a, a difference of view. It's, and um, I, I like my colleagues that, and that, that have different views. There is a view that we need more government, more spending, and more taxes. It just is. And there's a group, a group that I believe in that believes in limited government and lower taxes and a individual responsibility in the private sector. So there is a conflict there. And in some sense, that's what elections are about. Uh, and we'll have a big one this fall. And more than most, I think it will help answer that question. It'll be interesting but to see. But it's what hard the to reach a compromise with, on a budget if you won't lay one out and actually bring one to the floor. You it'll can't be, have one. It'll be interesting to see what the, the people decide, too, with their votes when it comes to the House as well. All, all those elections are happening along with the president, as, as you point out. Senator, I know you're headed home to Alabama. Uh, nice to have you stop by today. We appreciate it very much. Thank you.